from the studios of Turnstile Records. Hey, ma, ma, ma. Join us for another exciting Red installment of the Escape Pod. Hey, ma, 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 ma. Red leather, yellow leather. Only Red. one will break the free. The human torch was one. denied the bank. The Escape Pod. And we're back again tonight for a very special episode because it's just Tim and I and we have, full disclosure, we've been drinking. We have been drinking a little bit, um, but um, look, you mm. know, I'm trying. I'm still trying to work out these uh, sound issues. Uh, it sounds <laughs> sounds a bit rattly. Okay, we're not going to do the. This, this is what we're not going to do, Tim. We're not going to do the. Can you hear me? Oh, are we? Can you hear this? I'm not going to do that joke. Let's just go straight into the uh, sound off. Go on. You go. I'll go first. <laughs> yeah. My name is Jezbot. My name is David Dugo. Welcome. And um, thanks for having us again, Tim, in the studio on this. Um... You never quite know what day it is Yeah. when you're listening to this. Yeah. We usually do it on a Wednesday, right? It's... I don't think we can do it next week. That's the thing. So, so now we've, Tim, Taco and I have decided that we need to squeeze one in, bust one out, if you will. Uh, <laughs> Pinch be- one off. <laughs> if you will. Before next week, because we're going to let our uh, loyal fans down if we don't. Uh, well, we haven't posted up the last episode, but no, but by the time you hear this, you would we have. have last, so because we're banking. That. We're doing the bank, bank tank. Bank tank. Yeah. Think tank. Get... Thank. Get a Thank few tank. potties in the tank, uh, so you have a bank of them. Um, now, All right, boom. Well, I've Get got some Pfeffernos. Yep. Got some Pfeffernos. Yep. Pfeffernos. Yep. Pfeffernos. Yep. Now, we had my fortieth uh, yep. last week. Talked about it in the last um, podcast. I wanted good to say party. thanks, I want, Tim. I wanted to say um, lost and found. Oh yes. Okay. Lost and found. Yep. Found. Yep. What do you got? One black scarf. Uh, length. Um, approximately 1.7. Mm, 1,700. Meter. Is it meters or is it foot? Well, it's 1.7 meters. So it's in my language, it's 1,700. But in really? centimeters, that would be, I'm going to go A with, it's, it's like 18, 19 centimeters or something. You convert it, it. No, that's 19 goes, centimeters is that. But then 17, you convert sp- that to, isn't that how maths... I don't know. You're the maths guy. I thought you were doing the maths. I wasn't doing the math. No. Well, lost and found. Um, well, Dan scarf, apparently is. And I also have, mm. I think it could be Bobby's, Bobby Rose. Uh, Bobby Dazzler. Um, Bobby, da- Bobby Raw. Um, I might have her grey jacket. Mm. Uh, there was a bag left behind. Um, mm. There was also a... Child. <laughs> no, there was no children. Um, Not a- invited or... We didn't, uh, no, we didn't, we didn't. It started pretty late, you know, it's a big expectations to put on people when you say, Is please come to become my... another 40th <laughs> podcast? No, 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 lost and found. Ah. Found. Yes, Bobby Rose. <laughs> Bobby Rose may have left. Under the, under the desk, she was found. Uh, Diction, please <laughs> come pick her up. <laughs> She's Your still here. Is here. Um, black hoodie and a um keys, keys. set of keys. How to did my they car. get in? I uh, do you know how I broke into I my know. house the other day, Tim? Window. <laughs> good, good guess. The the dog. Uh, so they were barking at the door, and I mm-hmm. went, "All right, let's open the door so that they see what the hell is going on out there." Yeah. It's nothing, right? So I opened the door. I was wrangling them. And you then locked yourself out. <laughs> I locked myself out. <laughs> well, one of them went out and just went boom, uh, Frankie, straight across the road right. into the neighbours, straight, ac- straight, and and I'm doing sit at every block, every street. I'm doing sit, stay, heel, good dog, awesomeness. She's bolting. She bolted. And so I'm like, well, what's what's the deal? So what is what is the deal with that? Is that um, so? That's there's no boundaries, there's no roads. So you're you're training her on a corner, mm. 
Uh, She's jumping over the, uh, the, the the slipstream, which is the street. <laughs> which is all, she's all mid, the, she's the mid street. The she's door. mid road. She's in the middle of the road. She stopped and looked back. In the middle of the road. Yeah. So all the training Wait, I've so done. So she ran and then stopped. She so she must have been bolted out. What and stopped right in the middle of the road and looked back and went, "Is this where I'm supposed to be?" So yes. I locked myself out. So I closed the door. <laughs> I went right. There's a dog inside now and there's a dog outside. And I'm middle turf. How do you so do it? What I would do. So I went, boom, slammed the door closed. But the back door was locked, Tim. So now wait, I'm locked so you, wait, out. You slammed, I'm locked out. Okay, you I'm slammed the door out. to lock yourself out. To lock myself out. Right, right, Lock right, right, the right. dog. Little dog in. <laughs> Big dog is out in the street. Right. Looking at me going, let's get hit by a car. Right. Just How'd you get in? Up. So what I did was, what I figured out was when you've got a doggy door, you can pretty much fashion any type of wire or twig <laughs> into <laughs> a, a hook right. and then just hook the door open. Um, what's your address? It, that'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> what N. So Fefanus Tim, is everyone... I think um, I think if uh, oh. if you've lost a set of keys and you can't get in your house, just like we said before, I got your keys to the car. Uh, it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. I realised that when I looked around and you were the only one here. Mm. Um, Drunkenly. What like. about um? What do you got front? Are we get, over Pfeffernos and stuff. Well, I Let's think that's just, it for the Pfeffernos. Yeah, it's yeah. just like if you've lost, if you haven't, if you haven't got into your house since my fortieth. It's because Please I have your call keys. Me. I've got you. If you're freezing cold and mm. your neck is feeling the breeze, it's because I have your scarf. I've got your scarf. You're missing that jacket? I have it I've here. Got your it's grey, yeah? I've got it. Your dog? Um, uh, you can. Uh, hit you us can... up on one time on uh, <laughs> Escape Potters. <laughs> you know, At... it's um, everybody it's... else apart from the actual person mm. that owns it is listening to it going, I'm not going to do that. I reckon that. <laughs> The scarf is probably worth. I'm, I'm going to go fifteen dollars. Yeah, fifteen. Okay. $15, Twelve, fifteen dollars. Um. So, that's the Fevernos. Now yeah, done. Uh, Bing it. Bing. Bing. Oh, we're Bing. We're Binging, are we? Well. <laughs> no Bings. That's the Bing. <laughs> that was the Bing. All right, Fevernos is um, over. Let's get into the show proper. Which is uh, now the segment of Tim. Well, I have uh, a little story, a relaying story. Wife's uh, work got uh, got robbed. Okay. We got back from New York, and the week uh, Uh, the day after New York, you went to New York. Uh, You really must go. Um, And um, they got robbed but what they did what mm. the crooks did yeah. what the robbers did yeah, yeah, yeah. is they cut the mains mm. to the factory the oh. main power so oh, this it's is this, like uh, uh, Mission Impossible thievery proper okay proper like a uh, mask don't uh, know if they had masks because they were cutting they're like you gotta cut the thing so they opened they up the copper or furniture because it's a no it's like those thick it? those thick how, how what's no, the but diameter what are the of that? thieves what are, well, I'm getting to, I'm what getting you're to. saying is that it, that's a 25 no that's a, that's a 75 mil so bike. think of that three phase uh, power copper going into it it's like yeah. they've they've opened up the concrete thing at the front Ouch. they've gone in they've reached the cable they've gone shnink 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 cut it really? Right, gone around to the side. It's very, it's very got, risky. Got Tim. glass cutters, cut a man size hole. Sorry, was Tom Cruise breaking into the factory? It sounds that way. So they've cut through the glass, got in, stole yep. um, nothing but uh, like a couple all of la- the diamonds, laptops, no uh, laptops, mm. and uh, just stuff that was around, like things. Um, I think they got a passport Sharon's jacket. Sharon's jacket. Oh, you got um, your um, Bobby's uh, Bobby's laptop. The cold coffee that I left. Left, left the um, left the petty cash. Right. So no. So it, planning is that was totally off think, the cuff. That break in. No, 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 no. It was completely planned. But they didn't even gotta, plan you, to get the. You got your tools. You got your bandanas. You got your. Uh, you got your glass. Well, how much are you paying for your bandanas? Just as a. Oh look. 
Um, quick, just so we're are you on talking the about page. the one that hangs out the back of my pocket? No, the thing, or the, the one that, the one, put, that you put the one that I'm wearing right now, of, the of, American Eagle uh, like, bandana that I'm wearing right now, uh, Guns doll, and Roses style, dollar fifty. You really should uh, get one. They're great. You uh, you're big on belt buckles, but we'll go, we won't go we won't go into that. Do you know how many times I've been <laughs> shouted at just walking home? Redneck. Well. Are you a, do you look like do you look like a ro, ro, robber was, redneck? When it was getting, when it do you was look getting, like one of these robber guys? When I was, when the abuse was being hurled at me from the street, I was wearing flannelette. I was wearing tight jeans, blunt stones, and I did maybe have hair down past my shoulders. Well, you would suspect that these uh, the robbers uh, would have been dressed quite similarly. All, all blacks, right? It's black like skin ninja. suits, like yeah. ninjas. So they didn't steal much. Wow. Right, so that's the first thing. Let's get to it. They couldn't get their security fixed for the two days. You would suspect that somebody that knows to cut the power yes. would, would go, oh, we'll come back because they're not going to get it fixed in two days. We've got free reign in this joint. Ah. Right, so there's, ah. they're on full alert well, without being Can secure. I just say, he may be an electrician, this robber. Ah, right, right, right. Took a lap. Uh, took a passport. Mm. That's a hot ticket item that I would not touch as a. Uh, why would yeah? Why, why would, would you? You can't just like flip that. A, a passport. No, you need but, to but, know. but maybe you can. Maybe you've been can there. Can you flip it? Could you maybe reckon, you've been there. All right, Tim, Tim, Tim. I know you're not like criminally minded and shit, but do you reckon if you found a passport on the street, you could quickly flip that? What do you mean? It's like flip it for money? No. It's, Never. It's it's like you're not going in for passports, man. Well, we you just did. Go we for just laptops. did the whole. We just you did the. Go for we just did the whole um, jackets. We just did the whole uh, passport uh, customs mm. dealio. There's yeah. no way you could fake a, a convincing passport. passport and go to America and Australia and C- back again and like be totally cool with it, non sweaty. Yeah. When you went through the, I got the, I got every scan, every check. Bomb Everything, every every sniff of you've dog. Got your, you've, you've got your, you've got your, you've got your, you've got your, you got your take your shoes off. You got your two fingers up. You got your, uh, you got your stripped down. You got your uh, naked X-ray scan. You got your, uh, your bucket scan where you put your laptop through. Take your laptops out of the bank. It may sure. destroy your laptop just and as if a... you if you even go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, they're not. They're no not, fly list. Yeah, they are not down with. That or jokes? No, no. Not down with jokes on the uh, old American. So I don't uh, know what airlines. I don't know what stealing a passport is gonna. Oh, you will be uh, waterboarded. Well, it's not a matter of just like getting the old magnifying glass and the old tweezers with mm. their thing, and then no. pulling the photo out and reinserting a new photo and changing a couple <laughs> of letters, and no, it ain't no, like no, that. No, no, no. Because there's like wind, plastic windows that you need to hold up to the light. Well, they've got it so worked out that when we came back into Australia, mm. you scan your thing, your, la- your, what? your um, passport, passport yeah. put it into a machine, yeah. it goes visit, 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 and checks something. It doesn't show you. Then it gives you a ticket saying yes. Then you go to the end and you put the ticket in and then it validates you. It takes a photo. It cross-checks the passport oh. that you just did. But they trust it so much, it's automated. I just shat then. Yeah, but it's automated. So they don't even need people checking it because they know this system is way oh, better. So it's like Robocop. It's way better. It's you don't like, know what they're checking, who have, they're checking. You have five seconds to comply. Yeah. Yeah. Release your weapons, <laughs> Al Qaeda. Oh, and then you drop your yeah. weapons and whoa, you whoa, have whoa, two whoa, seconds whoa, to whoa, comply. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, I dropped my weapons, whoa, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I've got my passport. It's valid. You have. So that leads. That's that, right? What? The robbery. Yes. The robbery. Then that leads us to the trap door mystery. Okay. What's that, Tim? Which, <laughs> which is <laughs> another mystery around uh, my wife's workplace. Okay. Big factory, right? What does she do? Import export. Okay, good. Import export. Vandalay. Vandalay Industries. Uh, flippity sticks. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Back at the back of Flippery Sticks uh, factory, there is. It's like it backs onto the freeway somewhat. There's hobos. Or, there's cats. It's industrial area. No, it's in all industrial area, 
right? So you know how you got so, a little yeah, hobos, in between cats. in between each in between each factory thing. There's gaps. There's cyclone fences all the way around it. Sometimes it's overgrown. Right? That's and right. Right at the back of the factory, right in the little section that exists under the concrete and the actual ground. Yeah. There's a little trap door. I know where you're at. Right. Yeah, for sure. Which they knew was there. Yeah. The who? Um, the uh, the, the current, people who are coming up in this story. No, the 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 owners of the factory. No, they know, there's they, a nook. Like Vanessa's work. They know there's, there's a crack. A nook. They know there's a nook down there. A right? crack nook. Yeah. Now, somebody's come in and said, "Oh, have you seen the uh, seen crack the, nook? The, have you seen the trap door? Okay. The, the mystery tap, trap, trap door at the door. back. Yeah, it's cracked open again. It's cracked door. It's cracked open again, right? Okay. God. But what do you mean again? Well, we we closed it. Yeah. And then. A day later, it was left open again, right? With the latch. Yeah. And we specifically locked it. No, no lock, just latched. It was not wind. So think of think of like the ac- access you got to under your house. It's a little wooden door. Yeah. It's like a but service thing for electricians, plumbers, whatever. Whoever's got to get under you there, You would right? say you need a thumb to open... Said so you don't need a code. You need to. You, you need, need to, to physically own a thumb. You've got to, to physically flip up something. Flippity sticks, all right. So they've looked in there. Was the thumb thing not? You you, you mean you use your hand to open the There's latch? Thumb, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a thumb involved in your hand. Right, yeah, okay. Right, I'll right, see where you go. Right. Um, I have you and I've... Um, but you, they've looked under there. Yeah, it's latched open again. They've looked under there, and now mm. there's discarded. Uh, Paraphernalia of needle uh, injecting, drug injecting. So, so this is the this is the mystery, right? That obviously somebody of a street nature mm. has been using this tiny nook crawl space in the back of an obscure factory mm. in an industrial area, miles one long, out of like one hundreds, out of hundreds of factories, hundreds of factories. Right? If a mile around the back, over a cyclone fence. You would need around... a car to get there from any residential spot. Yeah, totally. 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 So you're deliberately going there. It's to not on shoot your way. Up in the crawl space. Pitch black, nothing else there. Discard the thing. So the, the here's the clues, right? It's been current it's been used because, because we've just locked it. They discovered it, up. it, we locked it, it reopened. And there's more rappers under there. Is somebody mm. using the space? Is somebody using the space on the way to another place? So they're going, I don't want to be found. Stash, stash, stash. On my way home to ah, just around like, the corner. So how our graffiti friends stash cans here, here and there. Right, expecting no one's ever going to go in the mystery trap door I because it's such be. an obscure place. Look how weird where obscure it is. While well, meanwhile, they're looking at this thing going. Can I say why is it latched one open? thing? If I was, I sort of get it. I think because if I was homeless, if I was a homeless man living on the streets, so because of what I've done as a, as a job, I guess I wouldn't be homeless then. But anyway, <laughs> I know a thousand good places to sleep tonight are you saying no the, the, you would like undisturbed area what? it's a no one's place ever going there to stash um, cl- um it's a place to stash evidence that's well, amazing man right how so many is it somebody how many factories have got evidence stashed is it somebody there? of the factory is it somebody previously of it, the factory I, I think yes you're right I think you yeah, definitely somebody you that only was there have before. knowledge of that trap door. If you've worked there, been there, or robbed it, or robbed there, the trap door mystery. Um, oh Bing. no, not quite, not oh. quite being. It's um, it's should be solved, right? So now there's what you, what's it, your concern about the trap door? Well, is what do you uh, what do you want it to be solved? Because somebody's coming in and out, right? Security has no idea about it. No, because there's also somebody that's able to go, this is the spot to rob. In and out. 
This is the spot to rob because I know no one's ever there because this is where I stash my heron. Do you know what I mean? Oh, so, I think are there. the two linked? Is that the mystery? Are we looking at a bigger thing here? Are there more players involved? Does it take two people to cut a glass and cut a power? Are, are they <laughs> are they going down there? Uh, during a stakeout, yeah. did they get on the gear, stash the evidence, thinking, oh, well, we're ready. I'll just fucking pivot in there. Now let's go rob the place. And then we'll just keep all our... The trap to All mystery. the tools that we we use to rob the place we'll keep on premises to do it next time um we still we were, we're breaking in with needles are we <laughs> bing <laughs> okay um now um oh, do you want do you want me to bing in tim yeah bing in all right so something i looked up yeah yeah definitely tim yeah that something you looked so, up, yeah. Something I looked up that I didn't believe, and I had to do a double check. There's a new restaurant. This is from the mirror.co.uk uh, website. It's, it's, it was the uh, north, east, west, south. It's the news. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> so this is the news. So Very, you, wait, were you saying that... Uh, you suspect that the news is that's what it means is, is north it? south west no no, no north, north east, east south, west west <laughs> are you saying you know, <laughs> are you actually saying you think i think news stands for news stands for it's an acronym it's origin it's is, an acronym for uh north East, west, <laughs> south. It's the news. Everything that's happening around. Everything that's happening around. I think you could it's be on news. something. Okay. What's okay? Uh, okay, Corral. Zero killed. As in that they would put up. This is a, this is going to be definitely is that, wrong. Is that right? Well, this is what I've heard. So the okay Corral means that uh, in the civil wars or whatever the fuck. Yeah. They put uh, how many people were killed for, per day. There'd be a number and there'd be a K. So z- zero K is okay. It's a good day. It's a good day. Everything was okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what was my one? Um, the news. The news. Right. <laughs> so the news today is that uh, there's a new restaurant in... It was a Japanese restaurant. Now I'm just going to go off the cuff because I can't read. Um Japanese restaurant. Yeah. It only wants. It's a nude restaurant. Naked. Naked restaurant. Uh-huh. And um, you're only allowed to go there if your weight is within the BPM. Is that the beast per minute <laughs> um, ratio B- of uh, of what your height should be? So. So you have got to be physically. You've got to be physically attractive. Attractive or in... in, um, Within the weight range for your height. Okay. And the staff have the right to um, say... uh, Reject or accept. I think you're a bit... You better get up on the scales there. Oh, really? Yes. (laughs) And no no tattoos. Once again, tattoos are being shunned again. Ah. Right? Yeah. This is why we don't... It's all turned up jazz bar. It's all turned up jazz bar because we don't brand ourselves because as a... A famous comedian said, and it was not me, why would I put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari? Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, so what's physically, is, they, they're judging people. They're, they're eyeballing... It's a big judge ball. Okay, so... It's a big wait, judge ball. Which... Okay, let, let's... let's. This is happening in England as well. Japanese let's, started let's, England. Let's talk through it, to right? Do you want to go out to dinner tonight? Yes, I do. Okay, let's go to this fantastic restaurant. What's that it? I've heard what? It, what's of. it's called? Uh, fatty Karate's. Um, okay. <laughs> no, not so, not so fatty karate. Okay, so what do I have? To, what's the? We go there, and then it's an it's a, it's a nude restaurant. But what? what when we get there, I'm not sure whether we instantly take our clothes off, whether we leave home without clothes, um, or whether we. Can I just? <laughs> did you? Are we going to a nude... Completely nude. ...restaurant tonight? Nude. 
So when we get there, don't worry about it. Don't worry nap- about it. Nap- napkins <sighs> on the. You'd want disposable. So it's got to be disposable. Totally, and now, are we brothers or am I acting as if I'm your wife now? Are we on a date? Are we just hanging out? Are we like? Um, are you? Or do I have to go? What if we double up and it's a double date, and uh, I'm there with my wife, and they're with your nude. wife? Nude, nude. So they may judge you when you get there, but ah. Um, uh, <laughs> It's a part of their policy to judge us. But if they look good, at us and go... Think of how good you'll feel when you get let in. <laughs> think how great that spaghetti... Oh, it's gonna be think how fantastic good, that it's spaghetti's going to taste. Tip, tip. It's going to be pretty good when I don't get um, rejected. Is that... Um, but like going... Fine. It's, 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 you know, it's there's very a waiting list. To... There's a waiting list. Let me just say that. It's not like they're going... Okay, then, can I just say this? It's, it's very please. much like the front gunt baby bunt yes. situation, right? Yes. yes. Where very recently I have, you know, it's like walking around with the baby on your front. Yes. Like so many people do. This that's is just fine. a recap. Isn't that, isn't the front that fine? gunt. Um, and but that's fine. Love your child. I agree. Have it close to you. But don't walk around pretending then you don't have a baby there. on you, right? So. Another got, similar. So, so you got the front bunt baby gunt, which is basically that baby harness, <laughs> and you're carrying and, and a baby on the front. On the but front. you're walking around like swinging your arms no, like you got no, no baby on you. In the world. Yeah, you got no baby. Like you this. got no baby on you. It's like the people that wear the Bluetooth earpiece. They pretend they're not wearing it, and they're just you're talking to, to the random to the to the. But you've got a thing on your head, and you're wearing it. It's like the Google glasses. No one's going to wear them. <laughs> Right? It's like the the naked (laughs) restaurant, right? It makes news. Who's going to go to it? I'm not going. The first time you go to it, you're going to be filmed because they're going to go, look at the sensations. Right? Then then, then you've got your TV show, Naked Dating. Have you seen this show? Have you seen this? Have you seen this? this Let's do a naked dating type type 10 on naked dating. Well, this is the thing, right? Don't naked date on a television show and make it a dating show and talk about all these that seem to be getting along and pretend they're not naked. Why is it naked dating? If you're going to not... First, you're going to blur it out so we can't see you're naked. We don't actually know whether you're naked. Yeah. You're dating. You're pretending you're not naked and the show called Naked Dating Mm. is pretending... You're so not you reckon they, so they, they've, like, got, they've got um, they've got a they've got a merkin, merkin on or a uh, or a fojina fe- fojina they got a fojina. Can I say something about the um, <laughs> fucking naked dating? Right, <laughs> it's it's bizarre because what what happens is I'm watching naked dating and there's these two like I don't know they're from Amsterdam and Germany or whatever and they're not very uh, like brown like attuned to the Pacific tan? sun, not tanned, not tanned, not, not tanned olived. up, yeah. they're not olived up. They've, their skin's white, like yours and mine, Tim. Two redhead ginger ninjas, right? Sorry if you've just discovered that we're redheads. I know, yeah, I, I already know that. No, yeah. no, but not you. But people listening are like, <sighs> well, hey, you're a half caste. <laughs> you're a, you're a half caste. Anyway, these guys, <laughs> each scene on this naked dating show, they're getting redder and redder. During the uh, During filming, the filming of it, it goes so, from scene to scene. They get they they rock up and they dive off the the ship, totally starkers, yeah. totally white. Yeah. And by the time that this poor bastard swims back to shore, he's starting yeah. to get a little bit pink, right? right. A little bit pink on the mm. skin there because he's a, he's skinned. He just. But what's your what's your what's your take on it? Right, there's a new show coming up. Mm. Right, mm. it's called uh, I think it's called. I think it's called Sex Box. All right, cool. It's an English show. That's not the they, one where they kiss. No, people, that's. I'm getting that, to that. I'm getting to that. Okay, we'll do that one next, right? Okay. This 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 Sex Box thing that's Ooh, coming out yeah. is coupled with these kind of shows that, that are out. Yeah. Naked dating, titillation, Sex Box. Yeah. Uh, um, the the kissing one, the uh, the kissing rate, one's the worst. Uh, rate, date, or mate, or uh-huh. whatever it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Marry. Um, Marry, Snog, ki- marry, marry, kill, s- a sacrifice. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. All right. So, sex box. People that are having um, pro- trouble trouble with intimacy together yeah. have a on stage uh-huh. in front of an audience uh, counselling well. session. Just as well, it was in front with of a, everyone with a sexnician, a technician of of sexual like style. So and then. Once they have been given the advice they need, yeah. and they're prepared to make the next leap into their relationship and taking it a little step further, okay. they've got a fuck in the sex box. In front of... No, but in the box, you hear them, right? And the clips, uh, on, the, the clips on the trailer uh, are like, uh, I'll have what she's having, right? And they're, and they're going, yeah, yeah, this is great. She's, they're really, intimate, they're really man. intimate together. So you know what I mean, like, like. Wait, wait, ah, Tim. So yeah, it, just... it bends my mind, in, right? Intimate, as in we're having sex in front of um... millions of people, but behind a box, so why not? And it's probably all fake, whatever. Everybody's going, that's bullshit. But the point is, remember when you couldn't say shit on television? I think I do. Right, or you could say you could say shit, and it was a video nasty. Okay, now. Mm. They're boning. We got dating shows that are nude dudes. When's got the first? Oh, when's the first oh, fully yeah. erect? We got penis um, going to go on screen, Tim. That's the next taboo, right? It is. But haven't they got um, uh, my embarrassing body? Or is that just me looking in the wow, mirror? Wow, that's. <laughs> <laughs> um, Man, and then back to what you were saying, the the kissing show. Oh, we're that, gonna no, get fifteen that's, guys. That's the worst. The girl says, I don't like anybody that's... Has a- herpes? Yeah. Guess uh, what? We've got Gareth. He's got a scorching case of herpes. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and our next contestant is Gene. Uh, he's got a very long tongue. And, and he has kissed over 5,000 <laughs> women. He's also bisexual. Also, <laughs> his mouth has been on a... <laughs> and he has bitten a, a bat. club sauna. For the last six months, training to kiss you. Um, it's horrendous. It is. I, and I, is I don't have... I to? am not a prude, I Tim. I don't want to be But I don't want to see, even in a high-budget movie, then maybe this is where and how I'm broken, I don't want to see Tom Cruise passionately kiss anything. Is the passionate... Love interest kiss is in a film likened to oh. the guitar solo in current times. So, you like, there was a point where people went, I No guess. more guitar solos. Yeah. Guitar solos, Out. dope. Dope. You're ripping it up. You're tearing Stop. it up. Look at him go. But there's a point where the public go, Nah, a bit much. I don't need a We've solo. In the 90s, mm. it was like Michael Jackson would do a song, <laughs> and then back, oh my, and then you get someone to come in and go, It's dun, rap, dun, rap, dun, 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 rap, dun, it's dun, the black, dun, black, dun, and the black, black, black. Do you know, a guest rap spots, it becomes tired. You don't do guest rap spots anymore. You do rap or, do you know what I mean? You do rock band, and you don't necessarily, even rock uh, bands don't do DM, solos. Run DMC with Aerosmith. Everything that serves its time. Old. Everything serves its time. So they got the, they got these shows. You, you got your um, you got your, tre- your, tre- your Treasure Island uh, survivors. You yes. got your um, you get your flip flippity stiff. Amazing races. You got all this. You got your reality TVs. You, you got, got your, your naked movie. dating. Right, and then the, yeah, but then they go the Bachelor, right? Oh, that's another. And then that's a whole other thing. People get so sick and tired of The Bachelor that they go, let's do The Bachelor, but they're all nude. Now they're all now nude. Me, now what me. are they going to do? Um, get sunburnt. Oh, they got to fuck in a box. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, where where are we going with it? Uh, well, it's... I'll are we, tell you when, are we going. Gonna, when are we going to guitar solo you, you, the reality you, 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 you. love Where we're going shows. is full-scale erections uh-huh. on, on screen... And full scale, like X rated pornography boning. Right. That's where we're going. We're going full electric blue. Full electric blue. <laughs> fucking scale. That's what they're aiming for. They want that, right? It's a gradual. Yes. Because, like, yes. I have my own concerns. I have. I have a daughter and a son that are young and impressionable and yeah, don't need and to be filled up these, with this fucking you hear all bullshit. These crazy stories about they're getting all their information from the internet, which, which we were talking earlier about that. We uh, currently do. We just had a um, 
uh, a moment before where mm. we were trying to talk about movies. Mm. And I think the the objective of that conversation wasn't just to work out what the who the who the filmmaker was or whatever. It was could we come up with the information from our own heads without relying okay, on Google? Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's very convoluted what you just said. We were talking about a Facebook post that I saw. It was like only four percent of uh, major league uh, directors in Hollywood are women. Four percent. So we'll yeah, but like we're trying to think, think of what, think of the, who, what who's was. in the four percenters, right? But without the internet, yeah, without even though the source came from the internet, I get, well, I get it, I get it. So I'm just but saying that I'm just come, saying that I'm just saying that you can't rely on television to get your information because <laughs> it is up. all it is all fuck boxes and fucking PlayStation ads. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. it's yeah. it's all you got your you got your. You, you, your restrained dramas, which which go nowhere. You've, you've got, got your you, you've got your one that they keep trying to spruik to me. That's so going to be the return of the year. This show that I don't think anyone's watching or talking about, but they make out like it's just the that's most. the big thing, right? The so this thing. this is what I'd say. Just to, just to wrap it up for the listeners, so that to they the can get the, it. to the tippity tip point is that uh, the craziness that. Um, you, you, your children can't hide from it. They what they what they what what they watch on television completely influences them, and it's fucking rubbish. Mm. And then when they go, oh, well, I'll just go and look on Facebook. Absolute junk. It's ru- it's or, um, ads. Or we were trying to rely on talking about a topic and without using without the using the internet, and it's so hard to do. It is very hard to do. So we all, saying all that of our information, all of our kids are getting their information from the internet. Well, and we'll then before you know it, society breaks down. Cats well, and dogs are you know it, together. Before you know it, we're all reliant on Wikipedia, which can be edited. Yes. By Did you know that uh, Wikipedia lists uh, the Great Wall of China as being made out of discarded Star Wars figurines? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> also visible from the moon. Um, so you, when you let, not. I don't know, when you let people in, you know what I mean? Like we, we had to gradually build up to this technology. We're there. But I think they think it's okay. just, your kids think it's just where it's, where it legit. is, legit, where it is. Like it's actual so, fact. Do you know what I mean? And then when you go, oh, okay, I'll watch something a little bit educational. I'll just, uh, I'll just chuck on something like that. You don't know if you're getting information. You don't know if it's right. You don't know if it's right. So the Great Wall of China, man, like the only thing you can recognize as a wall is what they rebuilt in the 80s. That is right. Yeah, yeah something I saw like it, that. I saw it, it's yeah. just rubble, man. It's rubble unless I've it's I've actually a, seen the parts of, yeah, the Great Wall of China that, that rubble, are dude. left is... Just rubble. Yeah. It's strange, yeah. isn't it? So when did they rebuild it? In the 1980s when they went, oh, Motherfuckers want to come and see this. Communism is over. We're letting people into China. So they rebuild it. Doesn't that make it still a great wall? <laughs> Isn't that still pretty great? It's great. I do want to go to China. I watched. I would um, go. I would go to China. I watched a to show. see the to see the nineteen eighties uh, wall. I would mm. go there. I, I watched a thing um, called Wild China. Before I came here tonight, no wild, shit. Wild China, man. There's some stuff. Is it about the there. disco parties? Yeah, <laughs> it was all about that. Really? No, no, it wasn't. It was about uh, the cave systems. Oh, the underground, the uh, the, uh, the, the um, silk d- tea, silk route, yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was like many years. You didn't thousands. pay much attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I was uh, overseas, uh, I really where'd you go? To New York. You really must go. Um, Thank you. Uh, I found that uh, a lot of people were walking around talking to themselves. Oh yeah, that happened a so lot. They didn't have the. No, I thought it was. The I thought oh, they're talking on the phone. And one thing I did notice is when they were talking on the phone, everybody mm. was holding it out in front of them, and, what? and so talking. Like a- so nobody was holding the phone up to the head, so which a, made me think. Which made for, me think. Is it a free for all? No, I think it's. I think it's more like uh, the idea that um, having a phone up to your head gives you head cancer. Ah, oh, I paranoid think that's. About I that. think. I think. But right? in the meantime, then, they're smoking a dart, aren't they? Something like that. 
Yeah. I'm worried but, about but brain I found, cancer, but I found I'll smoke this cigarette here. There was half the people were talking I'll talk, vape it. talking and walking with their phones out, and mm. the other part mm. were just walking around talking to themselves. So you get somebody that would walk past you and go, go over here. And, oh, what am I doing? I'm on, oh, yeah, I think I'll just go back the other way. Who's that guy talking to? He was talking to himself. Do you think it's... I saw it a lot. There was a lot of weird, um, like, uh, accepted things that people were doing that I saw a lot of so that the everybody guy, was I doing. I saw some of the footage. The guy in the park who was blotto but singing to himself. No one... No one was reacting to it. You I was the did. Only one, I was did. the only one filming because I'm like, hey, look at this guy. He was in an Armani suit. Right, a three-piece yeah. suit, which yeah. was like immaculate. Yeah, he was, and but he was singing about let her know the time to draw one man's successes, and then don't don't tell me what I can do. That kind of thing, right? Like just yeah. random, like ramblings. <laughs> immaculate suit, but he had one of those old lady carriages yeah. that the homeless were carrying around. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking. He's gone to the job interview. He fucking he, he got he the killed job. it. He killed it, or he no, he killed it. Right, right. He got the job. He got the job. He went out. He spent his first paycheck. Right, Pay he's still it. homeless because he's pushing around the the rickety little thing. Right, Fuck. I don't think he got the job. He's gonna find out tomorrow. He didn't get the job. They said to him. We'll be in touch. And he took that as... <laughs> I, got I got the job. <laughs> I got it. I'm going to go get Let's the spend drop. this last Let $12. Let know what I really am. <laughs> I'm a homeless man. It almost... It's almost sad. I think it's out there. Um, and um, it was so just like accepted behaviours, right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it's a big so city, Tim. Like it is a big city. But I thought that, that, that there must be something that's going around that everybody sees. Loneliness. No, 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 no. They're seeing other people do it, so they're going, oh, that's what you do, right? Ah. So you see a dude singing in the park. It's nobody, okay no, no, the park. Yeah, nobody goes up to him because that's okay because that's what you do. You hold the phone out in front of you because that's what you do. Mm. You don't get head cancer because nobody's, nobody's holding up to their head. I mustn't hold it up to my head for the simple fact that I might get head cancer. So then you're hearing all of their conversations, aren't you? They're walking down the street with their some their, their some phone. headphones, some not. So, so guys with the I'm on the like, commuter train with a bunch of fucking plebs. You know what I mean? Like yeah. some of them are loud, and then one one strange in, instance where a girl walked past us and she was going blah 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 blah. Like I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Like she's did, like yeah, outrageous outrageous yeah. conversation. Like yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> with their phone out in front of her, mm. she's talking, and then. We sort of like watched her go what the fuck maybe two this? or three meters past us. And then she's like, what the fuck? And she bumped into the girl that she was talking to on the phone. Yeah, right. Right? Yeah. So in, it's a massive city. So it was that was a, bizarre. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I know, that's aside from, I, know, I know that's aside from the whole, the whole point. Talking out loud on the... But it's like um, so we were only cities, we were only we were only aware of that occurrence because she had the phone in front of her and she was being outrageously loud. So like because I'm I'm so all we'll about the headphones. It. Like I'm not talking. I'm not even. I'm, I go. I go. So I'm on the train. I don't think you see many people like. I can't really talk right now because I'm on the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think uh, when we were over there, people didn't really talk on the train. It was very like get to where you go. Don't don't. Um, but um, but there are a lot of people talking to themselves without the phones in front of them, and it's accepted. Do you know what I mean? The smell of urine, it's accepted. The rats, and what also was accepted, oh, the, the, rats. the the mugging, the um, <laughs> you got your uh, you got your stabbings. No, what was also got your um, I think it's got to do a lot to do with the fact that uh, they don't get paid very much, but like the cues. So queue up. Now you were things. saying this to me that I can't really. I don't think go. you could go there because because you would. Well, you could go as an observer, but you couldn't queue up for anything because it would just kill it's you. It's a lot of queues. It's a lot of queues. Um, and I don't like because it would be like uh, the chick is disgruntled because she's not getting paid enough. 
She's working at this department can I, can store. I, can I just say it's not the the worker that's that, that I have the problem with with the queues. It's the people in the queue where it's like, now we've all we're all in this together. We all know that we want to get the coffee. We've got got a lattes, and I know I've got to get three lattes with two sugars in each or whatever. <laughs> have your money ready. Have your order ready. Yeah. Now look, the customer get is get up. The customer's always right. We're Are ready. They? We're ready to go. Do you know what I mean? It's a city on the go. I want to get my coffee. I want to get the fuck out of here. But because mm. the people at the registers are, are not being angst. paid enough, they're angst. They, they. I work for Flippity Sticks, and I am not, not. digging it. Mm. Uh, I did buy a bunch of toys for the kids, and I felt compelled at one stage to say to the girl that served me, who was was quite uh, irate. Uh, with with her working conditions, mm. I would say, um, she like miserably handed me the bag, and I said, "Thanks, cheer up, let your kids enjoy this fucking toy." Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus um, Christ. and those dudes are the ones that aren't getting tipped, so they're not getting anything else apart from their hourly minimum and wage. It was just like there was cues and cues and cues and cues and cues for everything. And people went along with it, and it was a common thing that people went, oh, they, it was a common accepted thing. Whereas we come into this, and as soon as I got home, I went to Coles. Yeah, all right. And, uh, no got, cues. No, no cues, but like such good service. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was like, hey, how are you today? Just, Would you like, just pay Would your. Like, pay pay it? your. It was uh, happy, chappy, go, 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 happy, chappy, right? And it was, uh, it was like, a massive uh, contrast. Wine black. Uh, well, uh, it was. It was like uh, cookies and cream. It was like... Uh, Napoli- uh, Napolitan ice cream. Um, it's like... Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but like that was that that was like... So you're saying the point of this story may be that uh, Melbourneites um, just realised that We've got it. We've got it good. We don't have. We the, actually do the have queues a good, We have a good. Of, yeah. When you're in a queue of three people, just imagine if you're in a city with fifty million people. Yeah, and everyone's and waiting for everything. everyone's waiting for a taxi. I think things. For a in, coffee, I think I, I was saying this constantly to Vanessa that we could, like, if I got a job mm. in America, mm. it would take me three days to be employee of the month, right? <laughs> because I would work. <laughs> <laughs> I would be happy about it. I'm like, man, I would kill it here. Not for six fold, bucks fold, an fold, hour. Fold, 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 I would be manager. I'd be CEO. <laughs> I would own it. I would become president. Then I would become king of the world. Then I would take over the universe. Do you know what I mean? All in like six days. Just, just, just. Do you know? Wow. Wow. Uh, so we've just got... For the first time ever, let's just give a big welcome to my lovely wife. Cassandra She's walked in with a, a wet, wet dog The only place there's water is the toilet The, pool. Is the, the pool. swimming pool The dog jumped in the swimming pool Who who got the dog out of the pool? I did Did you jump in? I didn't jump in, he swam to me he And now that's, it's the middle, it's the He swam to you So Tim oh, He's a smart dog So winter has it's not coming, it's came. Oh, winter's come. It's come all over yeah, us. Yeah, it's come yeah. at us. Right and uh, at us. So, so this doggy got into the swimming pool. And Cash, just say hello <laughs> one time on the podcast. Hello. There hello. you go, you're in. Is he shivering? He's yeah, shivering. he's shivering. Okay, right. Time. Well, should we get the hairdryer out? Maybe. This could be bit. like one of those um, montage he's movies. Oh, he's really oh, shivering. Idiot. Well, I would never jump into that pool. That Even pool if it was the, the peak of right. summer, I wouldn't jump into that pool. <laughs> It's mm. purely for the look of it all. And that's horrible. Ding. Let's ding. Let's <laughs> ding out of that. And ding. D- ding. Oh, we're dinging, dinging some more. Um, so uh, what's the... Did uh, you have... Is that... We've what, got Pfeffernus. We did. Last, the, the ending Pfeffernus. What's, yeah, uh, like, what's coming up? What's, Two, what's been uh, happening? A week... A, we- a bye week this week, but yeah. Because the, the listener will get has got two episodes, so they're, they're but like, are we gonna? Because I'm pretty pissed, and I don't <laughs> think that any of my words sound. Have we? I don't know. I don't know. Listeners, um, hit us up at at Escape Potters 
mm-hmm. um, at, on Twitter or um, let's say audioboom.com or maybe Facebook. Facebook, Tensile Records presents. Tensile Records presents. That dog is really shivering. Yeah, yeah, I've got him. All right, he's uh, yeah, he's cold as shit. Too much. He won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> so you wanted to get a, uh, you wanted to get a, a dipping pool put at your place at one stage. Sure, this is yes, an idea you had. Like did, if you've ever did. been to Bali, the, the listener, yeah, and you, everyone's been to Bali. Um, and the dipping pool, which I like to call Dippin the uh, the spunk, spunk dunk, dunk. <laughs> the jizz koozie. <laughs> um, the dogs. Oh. Now you can't really do that. Now you've got to rely on well, glass fences. You got to rely on. Uh, you should probably have some the dogs protection from, from the jizzkuzi to the outside world. But look, no, you know, Are you not going to do it. Survival. Well, look to make a pool, a jizzkuzi, mm-hmm. a spunker dunk, <laughs> is ten twenty thousand dollars. Oh right, right. Yeah, I just can't. I wonder what it is to actually do a full size pool. Is it like if you did a small? Sp- how much do they charge, or how much? Like, is it, is it relative? Like, do they go? It's just a hole, and we gotta do this. And blah, blah, blah. Well, or is it like uh, if you dig a pool? It's a bit easy because you can get the machines in there. You can dig a pool out. Do you know what I mean? So it's around the same. We cost. have built. We material? have built swimming pools, full scale swimming pools, in basements. Really? Yeah. Indoors. Fuel. So. You build a basement, like a massive basement, mm-hmm. with cars and gyms and all and and all that. And then in the basement, they put the swimming pool. Does the swimming pool act as a like heat source? Of sink? So no, no, no. So that when, if it floods, because you got to always put that precautionary Drain. draining system in. Could you convert a pool into the draining system? Filter the water out. <laughs> <laughs> and then use the excess water. So the thing about the swimming the... pool is, it's like it's either going to be a salt water or chlorine, and you don't want to be drinking any of that in the apocalypse. No, 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 no. Salt water though will trip your balls out. Will it? If you drink seawater, it will. You get thirsty. Like, you'll get like the the seawater z's. You'll get the crazies. Tim, I think we might. <laughs> I think we've done. We're there? I think... Is this thing working? Is this on, Tim? I don't know. My headphones are Hey, on. Daniel. <laughs> is this on? <laughs> I think we did all right, considering we've had a few... Because usually when we when we hook up, we have a couple of light beers or a mid-strength or a... We don't, we don't drink on pod, do we? No, not anymore. No. We did at the start, and you can probably tell work, if you listen to work. a couple of episodes. You slur episodes. your words. I think at the start of this, I was a bit more slurry than I am now because I've stopped drinking. Right. And I don't think it works out, Tim. Are we going to post this? I, don't, I doubt it. It's, that's why I didn't call it episode 25. I called it Jazz After Dark. <laughs> Jazz Bot After Dark. I did. I'd like, I, I'd like to do that where I just... <laughs> I just stay up for like three days to get that voice really husky. The blah, jab, jab, jab. I think we already bigger. covered this in the last one, did we? Did you? Yeah, I think we might. Just but after dark? Just but after dark. It sounds like it needs to happen. <laughs> A uh, Supreme FM style sexy radio station uh, Life advert. Life and dedication. Oh, definitely. I think, so, my dog, I think my dog's actually um, freezing to death. Freezing to death. Okay. Oh, we'll get so the I better tend to this. Um, All right. Well, she looks like a homeless dog. It's a it's a boy. Ah, oh, yeah. He looks like a homeless dog because I thought it was shiny. The Pomeranian. My Daniel <laughs> thinks that because Frankie, my female dog, is called a boy's dog. It's a, it's a boy's name. Apparently, Frankie's a boy's name. Mm-hmm. That this dog, who is Floyd, who's a boy. Should possibly be called Natalie or Sandy. Okay, well I've been. Um, well, it's been Jezbot, I guess. Jezbot, I've done. Thank you for pressing the self-destruct button. The ship will self-destruct in exactly two minutes and forty-five seconds. Three of us. The escape pod. The escape pod. The escape pod.
What if there are droids in the escape pod? The sensors wouldn't pick them up. The escape pod is really nice. Well, boys, it's a very lovely ship. I think you should go down. Goodbye.